Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, I got a good end to tonight's Monday Night Raw. It all came down to the contract signing, finally figuring out who is going to be the members of the main event for WWE Survivor Series. I will honestly tell you that I was a little bit excited to see what was going to be going down uh, with who was going to be on this main event show. Once everything was fell and you know the chips were shown, what is going to be the main event of this show? I honestly will say that... Um, I'm still a little bit lost. Uh, for some reason, the Authority has six members in this match uh, going up against five members of uh, Team Cena. Uh, throughout the show, we saw basically the Authority do everything that they said they were going to do, picking apart Team Cena, taking them out for the best that they could uh, to the point of when the Authority came down to the ring, it was Triple H, Stephanie, Kane, Seth Rollins, Mark Henry, Rusev, and Luke Harper, the new Intercontinental Champion, standing strong as their team basically going in to a five-on-five -five match, only for Team Cena to be led by John Cena and a whole bunch of question marks. One of my favorite things that's, uh, that WWE does when they're hyping up a, a surprise up, uh, member of a team is they always have that sort of black figure uh, with the big question mark on it. I have the Survivor, I'm sorry, I have the SummerSlam 2010 uh, match card, of course, that Daniel Bryan came back as a surprise member, and the day of the show, they didn't want to be selling t-shirts with Daniel Bryan on them, or maybe they didn't even know who was going to be the guy. So basically, you have Team Cena standing there, and in the background, you have a, a mystery guy uh, just standing there. And since then, with that shirt, I've been a huge mark uh, for the question mark guy. I know sometimes, uh, you know, in the la in the past, there's been a vacant WWE champion, uh, and uh, if you went onto the WWE's website, uh, in the in the portion for superstars, where they showed champions, there would be a gray figure with a question mark, and that was named Vacant. Vacant went to the point where he even had his own WWE Twitter account, tweeting about being champion of WWE for so many days, and how many people he uh, defended and, and going on from there. But basically, uh, Team Authority uh, was standing strong. Uh, you know, Triple H was out there basically saying that they could never lose. Uh, you know, they're in control, blah, blah, blah. You've heard this a thousand times before uh, Team Cena came out there uh, to, to uh, no surprise, led by John Cena. And basically, you know, going word to word with Triple H, basically saying that he was going to pull fans out of the crowd if he had to in order to, um, you know, you know, fight this fight against the authority. I'm awfully surprised Vince McMahon came out and he put the stipulation on this uh, match, basically saying that if the authority lost, they would no longer be the authority. Team Cena had to give up nothing to fight this fight. Basically, there's just the overwhelming sort of, you know, just sort of like, you know, feel that if you were to be in this match and be with John Cena, the authority, if they were to be in power on Monday Night Raw, would come down on these guys and basically they wouldn't want to be WWE superstars anymore. Basically, they would just quit and walk away. I don't know what the difference is between today and tomorrow. If these guys are upset with the authority and they don't fight, they're going to be upset if they keep going on. Maybe the only one that had something put in his way was the Big Show, who was presented with, if you take our our, our offer, quit Team Cena and not show up at the uh, Survivor Series pay-per-view, we'll put you in, this, in the uh, WWE Hall of Fame at WrestleMania. That's the only thing. Dolph Ziggler, win or lose... Well, I guess not win or lose. Maybe if they if they win and the authority's not there anymore, maybe he'll be able to break through the glass ceiling once again. But if the authority lose, I'm sorry, if the authority wins this match and Team Cena loses, Dolph Ziggler is still going to be Dolph Ziggler, one of the guys that a lot of people love that wrestles great matches that just can't climb up the card any higher than he is. WWE.com will put up article after article about him being the future of the company. And he'll never get there. Big Show's already been there a thousand times. Um, and, and the other two spots were empty. John Cena is always going to be the main event because he's best for business. And the authority will always stack it against him. Knowing that if he is in the main event, people will buy the show. Kids will buy t-shirts. They get rich. Cena gets rich. And, and they still get to uh, you know, basically have their own hand-picked champion. Uh, because basically because Cena can't beat Brock Lesnar. Well... Yeah, basically, as you know, the, this promo went along. Basically, Cena found out that guys did have his back. 
Dolph Ziggler emerged from the back, beaten and bruised. After that came out a beaten and bruised Big Show. Both of these guys attacked during the show. Both of these guys have great motives to stab John Cena in the back. If you watch tonight's Monday Night Raw, both of these guys... Um, basically, were beaten up by the authority and John Cena never moved a muscle to try and defend them. Maybe some people out there will be smoking the magic hash pipe, thinking that maybe John Cena is the guy who's going to turn heel, joining the authority basically because he wouldn't help his teammates out. Maybe you can take a picture and see into that. Honestly, my mind is still looking at Sheamus. Sheamus got taken out by the Mark Henry World Song of Slam. He's not going to be in the main event because he didn't come out for the contract signing. Is Sheamus upset with John Cena not coming out to help him. Why was the world's strongest slam through the table stronger than anything else that took out these guys from this, this show that made Sheamus not able to wrestle at Survivor Series? I think Sheamus is still going to be the one guy looming in the back of my mind thinking what is going to happen with him at the end. Is the, the turn of Sheamus that we've been heard, hearing about for so long. Remember when Sheamus was going to join the... Uh, evolution once Dave Batista left and basically keep that running strong um you know it, it, you know it was Cena uh and Sheamus isn't probably the best match in the world but it is the match that I think might happen to TLC if Brock Lesnar doesn't come down I'm really looking at and see maybe Sheamus will turn heel more on this when we go into the uh the the full show preview uh that'll probably go up Tuesday maybe Wednesday Somewhere there, we'll work out some time and we'll go through all these matches. The Survivor Series snuck up on me. For some reason, I thought it was the next Sunday. And it's this Sunday. Good God, this was the go-home show. Uh, the next one was the big surprise. Uh, basically, after the big show, Eric Rowan comes out to join Team Cena. Big surprise. I mean, last week, this guy was just sort of chasing Natalia around. And uh, uh, basically, I didn't think this guy had a, a spot in the world. Even more surprised than me uh, was Luke Harper who looked very confused to see him coming out there. But maybe he just wants a big piece of the pie. He sees his former partner coming out, wrestling his singles debut. Well, not singles debut. He's wrestled singles matches along the way. But since the team is broken up, and he becomes Intercontinental Champion in his first match. So maybe he wants a little bit of a piece of the pie. To me, Eric Rowan joining, uh, to me, just... I, I don't know whether if I wanted to jump on the board thinking maybe the Wyatts are really broken up. Maybe the Wyatts have a little bit of a hand in what's going down in this match. You never know. Anything can happen. Bray, uh, Bray's more than likely going to be locked up with Ambrose for a few months. In this feud, uh, you don't normally see you know just one pay-per-view blow-off matches, but maybe that, that'll just be a placeholder for both of those guys. And maybe Bray finds a way to screw this match up and, and basically be a part of the authority. Maybe we can have the... Uh, the the Wyatt Authority, I can't think of their name, but the corporate ministry was a pretty damn good team. And I don't think anybody thought that Vince McMahon and Undertaker would join up uh, as the corporate ministry back in the day. Maybe something will go down. And from there, that left five on four. And basically, everybody's big one. Everybody knew it was coming. Ryback came out. He joined Team Cena, uh, which set off a big, huge uh, brawl between everybody that was involved, leaving Ryback, John Cena, and Triple H inside of the ring. From there, Triple H picked up um, Triple H. Boom! Attitude adjustment through the table. Of course, everybody uh, who's ever been in a contract signing, everybody who's ever seen a contract signing, knows the table's in the ring for one reason. Somebody's going through that, and it was Triple H's job tonight. Uh, Stephanie was checking on the husband, uh, um, basically, as um, Team Cena, uh, you know, was uh, in uh, just full force. Everybody raising their hands over the head. Everybody was, uh, you know, a strong team, and we're going to have to see how strong this team is. Uh, the only thing is that was, uh, you know, when they were trying to reveal who the secret man was going to be or who the fifth man was going to be before Ryback came out, Cesaro came out. And you know, everybody was going bananas thinking Cesaro was going to turn baby face. And he was the secret member of the team. He came out and he joined the side of the authority. Is it six on five? Is it just a big goof and Cesaro is not even going to be part of Survivor Series? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the description box below and we'll go from there. But Monday Night Raw was good. It wasn't great. Got it over with in a hurry. But Survivor Series on Sunday. This is the go-home show. Who's ready for a free... Free, free pay-per-view.